I'm an addict for snitches. Here we go with a detailed look at the KD Aunt Pearls. Finally got them in hand. I've had tons of people requesting for this detailed review. So I got you. Always let me know what you want on the show. Subscribe if you're new, of course. And hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. It lets YouTube know it's okay to notify you so you don't miss out on future content. Now, personally me, I would rank these up as far as all the different Aunt Pearl colorways. I think that this is one of the better ones from all of the models. This is a really nice pair of shoes in general, this model. And I like what they did with this one. In my opinion, the 7 is the best so far. But these are dope. Let's get up close. Take a look at your knit upper. Really nice. You've got your laces that loop down for heavy support. Kind of works like dynamic fly wire, how it's laced. And then you have like this velour-like material on the back end. And you have your swoosh. It's got a little bit of a glittery vibe to it. I'm trying to capture it. But um, it's not too glittery. And on the back, as you can see, you have like this posit kind of heel counter that got the wings designed. Real nice. There's a look at the medial side of the shoe. As far as the fit, I recommend going true to size. And then there's a look at the outsole, full length zoom air. And then you have that velour like material with your KD branding. You have your pink ribbon behind it. And then inside you have in memory of Aunt Pearl, who inspired us to continue the fight for a cure. And there you go with a close-up HD look at these Aunt Pearl Kevin Durant shoes. I recommend them if you are someone that wears pink, you know, or it just has that connection with someone that you have lost to cancer. This is a shoe to have, especially for cancer awareness. Such a terrible, terrible disease. You know, I don't think there's anyone out there that doesn't know someone that they've loved that battled cancer. My mother's whole side of her family all died from cancer, which is pretty crazy. Cancer is just savage, man. It's ruthless. And hopefully one day, you know, there will be a cure for cancer because, as I said, it's just it's a terrible disease and it's a terrible way to die, too. I hate to hit everyone with a depressive vibe, but... um. You know, cancer is really serious. And as much as we look at the sneaker and we're like, wow, it's amazing. It's nice to see Kevin Durant every single year just deliver this on Pearl shoe to pay tribute to her and deliver cancer awareness. So I really respect what Kevin Durant does. And I think it's great that Nike has this come out every single year. And I hope this does not stop. Great shoe, as I said, one of my favorites out of all of them my favorite is the seven and i'm gonna show you guys a review on the seven i'm gonna extend this video and just hit you with a two for one because i really love the seven and one thing i like about this model is how they incorporated that wings kind of vibe to it on the back heels got like a posit kind of material and on the seven they did that with the strap so you will see that video in just a few moments uh, leave your comments. Let me know your favorite Aunt Pearl shoes. Which ones were the best ones? I really want the four. I never owned the four, but I always wanted it. That's one that I would love to get my hands on. I need a size nine just to put that out there. If anyone has it, you know, hit me up on my Instagram, which is over at Real DJ Dells, or on my Twitter, which is at DJ Dells. These are available now. I will link that in the description box below for your convenience. And don't forget, we got the Sneaker Attic t-shirts also. A lot of people have been picking them up. Thank you very much for all your support. Check out the Patreon. We got the podcast now exclusive to the Patreon. You join the Patreon, you're part of the podcast. You become an executive producer forming the actual content of the podcast. Plus, we do giveaways, so check all that out in the description box below. And let's get to this KD7, my favorite Aunt Pearl model. <sighs> These are so hot, in my opinion. Love the colorway. Really, really nice. Definitely my favorite KD7. 
favorite uh, pearl colorway also. I love how there's not too much pink on the shoe. You just have your hits of pink on the fly wire. And then you have it also on the actual ribbon right there and then you have it in the unit right there in the zoom unit i like how there's not too much pink on this shoe i'm not the biggest pink dude like i don't wear like mad pink but i do like wearing like little hits of pink on kicks or like a shirt like gives it a little pop but for me it just doesn't look right on me you know other people it looks dope on them but not me i just can't pull it off it looks crazy but so this one was perfect. I love how clean it looks and this is going to be so nice when it's nice out in New York. It's so damn cold out. There's snow everywhere. The East Coast sucks right now. It's so damn cold. I cannot wait to wear these when it's sunny out and it's nice. These are going to look sick on feet. That's why some people have been complaining. Yo, you don't shoot on feet episodes. It's like below zero outside. Like I'm not going outside, man. It's way too damn cold outside. Uh, but I definitely will be showing some like real nice on foot episodes once it gets nice out I'm gonna catch up and do a lot of on foot looks outside because it's a different look when it's outdoors than inside It's just not the same So let's get up close as you can see on this gold swoosh You have a wings design a wings print on it, which looks really nice that pink fly wire just is so Popping on the shoe. I love how you can even see it faintly over there and then it just pops right there real nicey nice Of course your strap right there looks just incredible. I love this concept with this strap I've Got a message behind it for people that are curious about the actual material. It's like a hard rubber plastic material up top you have a gold KD logo Looking at the posit material, it's got a little bit of like a pearl kind of shine to it. Real nice. Of course, you have your zoom unit right there. Super comfortable. I love the gray sole. I love how they didn't do something whack like put a icy sole. They made it gray. It really gives a nice contrast to the actual wing right there, which is a light gray. Definitely complements it with this sole right here being that light gray right there with your hit of pink and white. Of course you got your ribbon right there and then you have your gold swoosh by the medial side of the ankle and it does have this design like on the swoosh on the toe quick look at the medial side as far as the fit go true to size if you have a wide foot go up half a size and as you can see here on this part of the toe you have a little bit of a darker gray on this part of this fuse right here give you a little bird's eye view on the toe on that mesh flat laces super flat paper thin that wings strap is just so hot like it reminds me of jeremy scott but it's like it's like calmed you know it's not too too crazy where it's like you know i could actually wear these like the jeremy scott shoes some of them i can wear and some are just a little too crazy for me but this is really like unique but it's not too out there, like too loud and too crazy. I'm digging it. And I love what it stands for. I think it's really nice. There's a look at the back. I mean, it's really nice that he keeps putting these out in honor of his aunt. I mean, that's something amazing. Think about it, we keep talking about her. Every single year we wear, her, we wear these shoes representing her life and representing, you know, just fighting this terrible disease of cancer. It's a beautiful thing that KD keeps putting these out and you know it's it's really nice you also have a bunch of names showing love to some of his family members wanda barbara oh, it's hard to get in here wayne and tony and then of course you have your logo there also behind the tongue you have some real nice artwork right there as you can see really really nice and then there's a look at the footbed right there we go to just a quick quick on foot look once again as far as the fit true to size definitely go true to size on these if you have a wide foot go up half a size digging these really digging them real clean look let me know what you think of them hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode share this facebook twitter google plus 
Don't forget to go to the blog, thesneakeraddict.com, for your sneaker news. The Oreo 4s are releasing tomorrow, and a bunch more. I'll have plenty of info around 9 a.m. to give you guys a head start in the morning. Keep watching, I'll keep filming. And with that said, let me hit you with that. Burp, 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 burp,